Yeah, why do cover bands always suck? Yeah, have you noticed that? Like, not all cover bands suck, but all the ones that are at um, casinos and zoos. Yes, there are bands at zoos, because some zoos, you know, are so desperate for entertainment, they hire cover bands. But they always seem to suck, you know? And it's not, if they play their original songs, a lot of them d really don't suck. It's when they try to do other people's stuff, like really popular songs, where they are so lame. And the ones that are the most lame to me, I'm gonna say to me, because there are some cover band aficionados that will be upset me saying this, but it's because they are in a crappy cover band and they want to defend their work. But, again, I'm gonna say, there's people that like cover bands, but... Like, I'm not talking about, like, the 70s cover bands or the ones that cover 60s songs, because actually, or even the impersonators, the ones that are the Elvis impersonators and Wayne Newton impersonators, they're good. They are phenomenal. They study the art. I'm talking about the ones that obviously practice in their basement or garage and just don't even... Uh, just listen to radio and then they're like, hey, we're gonna play this song. You know, we're gonna we're gonna play Black Eyed Peas. That's what we do. We're gonna make sure everyone has a good time. And people don't. People are like, turn this shit off. Turn it off, it's hurting my ears. Yeah, you know it's gonna go downhill, you know. Not every time. And I don't wanna bash, you know, casinos and zoos because that's kind of mine and I'm not trying to eliminate any competition trust me actually actually you probably don't want to do that because I just jinxed it but uh yeah another story for another time but yeah uh yeah cover bands really uh yeah I, I don't get it and and why do you even need you know like how much money are they paying them you know, and if they're doing exposure, and if they stink that bad, why? Why, you know? I get weddings, you know? I get having a cover band for a wedding, because, you know, you spend everything on cake in the ceremony. The minister needs a cut, so you don't have much money left. So, yeah, get a cover band. But even then, with the same money you're paying a band, get a DJ, man. Actually, for the same money that you pay a DJ, <laughs> Grab your cell phone, man. That's what you do. Your cell phone. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't know why I just started ranting about cover bands, but yeah, it kind of annoys me. Of like, they are bad. But it's when they play new songs, they are bad. When they play like newer songs, like the pop songs that you know that kind of have um, auto tune and stuff on it, that's horrible, like horrid. And then you realize, like, man, these lyrics are stupid. But but when they play, cover bands play older songs, especially 80s songs. And it could just be me. But when they play, like, 80s songs, it's like, man, these guys are good. This is, like, the best band in the world. You know, they all sound, sound like hollow notes, and they all sound like Starship, you know? But when they play newer related songs, and 90s are pushing it too. Like if they're playing 90s songs, it's a, it's a touchy one. It's tolerable, and it's not nearly as bad as the thousands and what we're going through now. But yeah, when these cover bands try to play uh, Justin Bieber, ugh, ugh, man. But then again, when they play uh, Sunny and the Sunshine Gang or whatever they call them, or you know, something like play that funky music, they're good. It's good. It's amazing. And it's like you wonder if it's actually the cover band or it's the material they're covering. Yeah. But who knows? I digress.